Wow. Hi guys. Welcome to day 11 of this my KK conversion journey. Just like I predicted, it was a complete roller coaster. The day started with me having to jumpstart my team on the client side where we were carrying out an Elica energy consumption audit. Once that was settled, I dashed off to the workshop to get Dogo. Dogo then took us to link up with Balogo. The plan for today was simple. Brainstorm, agree on next steps, maybe wrap up flooring and roofing. But trust Dogo, man had other plans entirely. I took Balogo to check out some of the newly acquired tools we'd be working with. Balogo was visibly excited. When we got back to the workshop, Dogo casually said, let's just dismantle first. We don't need to wait for the floor to be done. And that was how it all started. Before I knew it, we had the kicker completely turned down. It took some time though. Most of the major tools were still in the office, so we had to make do with some few mobile ones in my car. Then Dogo dropped another idea. Let's just test fit the electrical axle and see how it goes. Remember today was supposed to be for planning and survey, but here we are, cutting, lifting and sweating. At least no welding today. Then came the moment of truth. Would it fit? Well, it fits too perfectly. So perfect that it wouldn't work. It was matching to the exact dimension I sent. I should have added like 3 to 5 cm allowance. Now we are stuck. What was meant to be a plug and play swap has turned into a serious modification job. We all sat down to brainstorm how to fix this. And honestly, at one point, I was close to giving up. I suggested we head back to the scrapyard to check out one of the CNG KKs there. There is a live axle, just like ours, not a CV axle. At this point, I've learned more about suspension and transmission system than I ever planned to. So a CNG KK there, and I just shook my head. Whoever thought this was the answer to Nigeria's mobility issue clearly doesn't understand Nigeria. I used to think ICE engines were complex until I saw a CNG setup. It's 10 times more complicated and 20 times more failure prone. Funny thing, the two CNG KKs they had already filled and had been converted back to petrol. Crazy. Anyway, Dogo, Balogo and Nike deliberated on how to overcome this first big auto. Maybe we use a spring suspension like the one on the CNG KK with smaller shock absorber or just fabricate something custom. Dogo said we should just head back to the workshop, he believes we'll figure something out. What if we just modify the crossbar, I said not know the proper name, and bolt it over the live axle using u bolts that came with it. I explained it to Balogu. He understood it immediately and promised to have it cut and ready for tomorrow. By then, I was completely worn out. Still had to finish day one of the energy audit before calling the day. Picked up my guys, headed back to the office. Tomorrow, we'll start the real work. Catch you later, guys. Bye.